you know, listening to you talk about uh, your experience, um, Devon Henry's uh, experience, reminds me of the conversation I had with Mitch Landrieu when he was mayor of New Orleans and he was going through the process of removing Confederate monuments in his city. Have you had any conversations with Mitch Landrieu as you worked your way through getting Richmond to the same place as New Orleans? Well, the year that Mitch Landrieu removed the monuments uh, in New Orleans, I was happy to, I, well, I was mayor here in Richmond as well. And I knew when Mitch made the move in New Orleans that that wave would find itself on our shores. And so I started to prepare my team. I said, you know what? We have to have a discussion about these symbols. And so we uh, started the Monument Avenue Commission uh, to explore the recontextualization of these monuments. And then the, the tragedy in Charlottesville happened and Heather Heyer was killed. And so that's when we thought we had to add removal to that discussion. The only issue was that we had no authority in removing those monuments. And I remember talking to Mitch and him advising me and saying, look, Mayor, you have to do what is in the best, uh, uh, what, what your, your city would approve you on, uh, to do. Mm -hmm. And it was hard at first, you know, we discussed uh, removal, uh, we, we would discuss recontextualization, but we knew we had to end up here at the removal. And when the Commonwealth of Virginia gave us the ability to actually remove them, and actually we did it in the summer of 2020, one of the first people I contacted was Mitch Landrieu. And I told Mitch that we finally got it done. And uh, Mitch, you know, he applauded me for my efforts, but also he reminded me uh, that it's gonna take a little bit more time for folks to continue to have my back. I brought Mitch to Richmond and said, Mitch, I would love for you to have a us to have a conversation about what you did in New Orleans, but also what is necessary, what do we need here to get the job done in Richmond? And the one thing he told uh, my residents here is like, you know, when the mayor decides to do this, you all need to rem remain behind him, continue to have his back. And I'll have to say, I'm grateful to my residents. I'm grateful to my community because they have had my back.